Hi everybody, my name's Shark and welcome to another episode of Let's Draw. Today we're going to draw a Wolverine. Now, we're going to try something a little bit different. Instead of actually live uh, live commentary while I'm drawing, i am already drawn it, it's already recorded, I'm just going to speed it up and have my audio over it. Saves a lot of time because the last video was just going over, yeah, it was just taking the... Uh, uh, the boo 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 boo. It saves time, and I'm not necessarily stumbling all over myself while drawing. So, without any further ado, let's give it a shot. Alright, we start out simple, same thing, same deal. You just uh, start out with a circle, put the light, the eyes, uh, light for the eyes in there. We're basically starting out the same way as we did with the Batman sketch. Um, mainly because I wanted it to kind of look the same. Uh, you know, with the big chin and all that. And I just... Uh, with the outline, initial outline sketch like this, I don't necessarily use it as a stand, you know, like a freaking concrete guidepost. It's more more of a suggestion. Uh, in fact, a lot of times in a lot of my drawings, I'll just uh, I'll lay down the sketch, the uh, outline sketch, and just totally go against it sometimes. But uh, this one, I generally try to stick with it. But anywho, all right, we're getting into the eyes. You can already tell that the eyes are a lot better than the last one. At least I think so. Um, I do have to adjust them at some point. Yeah, like right here, I believe you yeah, have to make them slightly bigger. Sometimes it's hard to judge the exact size of the eyes. You just have to uh, wing it sometimes. I, I use that term a lot, I know, sorry. And um, then now we're going into the cheekbone, which is still kind of wonky. I'm not too happy with that, but I, I just deal with it. Generally, cheekbones... It depends on the nationality. Some people have higher cheekbones. Some people have lower cheekbones. Some people have no cheekbones at all. But anywho. And then we get into the nose, which is generally difficult, but that one you can just kind of play by ear also. And then we're getting into the mouth. Um, yep. And the cake okay, is... Uh, wow, it's moving way too fast. All right, now we're getting back, uh, getting into the uh, chin, which again is roughly about the same. The whole cleft chin thing, I usually don't like it, but with these drawings, I'm I'm doing it just for char uh, character. And roughly the more or less the mask is kind of the same as Batman's. I know a lot of you will argue that it's differently, but I mean generally the design around here around the mouth, it's roughly the same. But uh, is you is you 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 can look up any picture and it's it's, it's about the same. But yeah, anywho, uh, okay, so what are we doing here? Just kind of uh, fixing up the mouth a bit. Kind of pause here and getting into the lip, getting to the uh, chin hair, because that's one thing about Wolverine, he's always had that scruffy look. With, with him, the difference between him and Batman is that there's no question about it, he's always got that scruffy look. Uh, more so, I think, sometimes. But yeah, that whole 5 o'clock shadow thing makes him look real rough and rugged. Sometimes he'll once in a blue moon he'll have a full on beard. I think I don't know, but yeah, okay. Uh, all right, uh, going in here, trying to put out some, uh, put a little bit more shading into the uh, into the uh, jawline here. Now this is this is when things get a bit tricky because I kind of forgot exactly how this went because initially I was going on this blind and uh, I was trying to do it from memory. At some point in time, I could see that it does not look right at all, so I I looked up a reference which is not necessarily a bad thing do not be afraid to look up references i mean you ask any freaking professional artist and they will tell you use reference you know a lot of people especially on dealers oh, no, that's stealing no okay it's it's not well it's a gray area Okay, but I looked up a picture of Wolverine and uh, finally got got the uh, actual thing it depends on how much you copy from it Okay, if you use a reference just as a suggestion for like maybe uh, a certain way a certain thing looks, certain ways the light reacts to something, that's different. If you're straight up copying it, well, I don't know. I don't know. Just go by your best judgment. All right, anywho, we're getting into the whole little pointy head, pointy things. As I said, which is kind of like Batman's ears. There's a lot of similarities between Wolverine and Batman. Except the fact, of course, Wolverine doesn't have a cape. Okay, up the shoulders, as you can see. Totally different from the initial sketch. I up the shoulders where it looks like he's a little, you know, like this. It's still like, like that. So, yeah. And then we got the uh, stripes 
come down come down his shoulders, which is uh, which varies from design to design. But roughly, there's a lot of uh, things about Wolverine that remain the same, especially around the head. Excuse me. Um, I'm getting in here, kind of like, kind of uh, emphasizing on the shadow. Uh, now, now, of course, the the area around the uh, eyes is the uh, well, you can't see where I'm pointing. The area around the eyes is uh, darker. It's pretty much black, more kind of a leathery, kind of shiny look to it which I kind of try to do here, but I don't think I quite manage. It's something I really need to work on, is um, texture and quality of the uh, uh, actual cloth or whatever. But yeah, I try, to, I try to deal with it, work with it. Now, one thing that kind of drove me nuts about this picture was uh, you could, I could not give a definite light source. I wasn't exactly sure where I was going to have it. I just started just laying down shade just, to, just, just for flare. Entirely for flare. You don't want to do that. You you want to have a definite light source, so you know you know where the light's coming from. Of course, it, it just it just makes the drawing make more sense. It makes it more realistic. So yeah, but there are occasions where you do have light bouncing all over the place because light does not just generally hit something dead on. It bounces off of things. It bounces off of certain colors, reflects other colors. It does all kinds of crazy crap. But, um, yeah. Now, uh, it, again, I'm not at all a professional. But if I was to give advice to anybody, I would say just uh, for, for drawing, just be more observant of your surroundings. Be more observant of how, of light, actually. How light reacts to certain things, how it reflects on certain things, how it casts certain shadows, so on and so forth. Be observant of the light because that is the trick to drawing. I mean, you can draw, you can draw, you can draw like the most basic thing, most cartoony looking thing, and if you got a decent, you know, concept of light and shading, you can make that look totally awesome. But anyhow, um, and just getting into the uh, whole thing about the shoulders. Uh, that's that's been a design since about the. Uh, I think about the 90s, these big, big, big old bulky shoulder things. I kind of like it. I tend to try to stick with it. But yeah. All right, here we go. I'm trying to define the uh, pecs, the pectorals, the muscles here. Um, I don't think I do a decent job of that, but, you know, whatever. I go with it. So, yeah. And about this time is when I'm trying to make it look like the shit, the light's coming from the right side. Uh, yeah, about the right side of the picture. I don't, that's where I think it got all confusing, because it looks more like it's head-on. I should have stuck with it head-on, but, you know, whatever, who cares. And that's roughly about it for the uh, for the picture. I mean, here's just little touch-ups here and there, and, you know, it's just a quick, quick sketch. But I think, I th personally, I think it's a lot better than the Batman one. But, yeah, I, I could have put a little bit more work into it, but I wanted to rush it and hurry up and get it done which isn't generally what you want to do but you know the the focus was mostly down i just wanted to get the head as you can see so yeah that's it there you go you have wolverine and there you go now it's not, of course it's not exact but you know it's, it's generally rough but you get the idea all right well that's going to be it for me if you guys got any suggestions of what you want to see in the next let's draw video let me know um Give the video a like, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Adios!